Whew, good evening, everyone. First of all, you might notice the camera looks a little different it's because this is a different camera. Someone sent me the more modern version of the same exact webcam I've been using for over a decade. This is the most latest model of the Logitech webcam. Um, they had had it used, and they were not going to use it anymore. They offered it to me. I said, well, since it's similar to the webcam I already have, you would think it's not going to really change my resource use on my computer. So, yeah, I'll accept it. So they sent it. And as you can see, there's pros and cons. The pros are this camera is sharp. It's actually more sharp than my old camera. Like, I have a big fucking pimple on my face. You can see it with this camera. With the old camera, you honestly couldn't. Okay? But the trade-off is the color isn't good. Take a look. You can see I look all yellow. And I have this on auto and everything. And this is what it looks like. So I think what it is depends on the lighting. With the natural lighting, I bet this camera looks good. I bet in the morning with this, the lighting, the camera will look all right with natural light from outside. But it's night now. And at night, the camera does not look good. Okay? So it's kind of a trade-off. Do you guys like the sharper visuals? Like, you could probably see things in the background way clearer now, way crisper. But the color is kind of weird, right? So I'm not sure exactly what you guys are going to want. Obviously, leave some feedback. Not about this disgusting pimple on my face, but more about what you think of the quality of this camera. This is the first time you're actually seeing it full screen like this, 1080p, okay? All right, today was the premiere of Street Fighter VI, okay? And definitely, it was an interesting experience, all right? I have a mix of things to say. I would say there was a lot of good and some bad. A lot of good. Here's the good. So far, the connections have held up with a few exceptions. Anytime that the game goes above 100 milliseconds, it's basically unplayable and it's not fun. At the same time, that happened, I would say, three times all day. And, you know, I played it all day long. That's a good sign, I guess, considering that it is a closed beta and people are playing from all over the country, but I don't know. I was on, like, North America Server 2, so I think I was playing people from, like, Canada, uh, you know, United States, Mexico, and those territories. Um, I actually know for a fact I was playing people from across the country because I played, uh, gamer, uh, Chris G, who used to be, well, I think he still is top player, right, in current Street Fighter, you know, I wasn't, and this guy, I played him, and he had a Jamie, and he kicked my butt, it was the first time I'd even seen Jamie in the game, and he was whooping my ass, you know, so, there's some good things about it, Con online connectivity, for the most part, is good, graphics are ridiculous, like, best fighting game graphics by, in, um, by a mile that I've ever seen in my life, um, it looks like CGI, like two CGI characters in a movie are fighting each other. That's pretty much the best way I can describe the visual of Street Fighter VI. Just as I had said, <clears throat> you can play this game however you want. <clears throat> Some people are utilizing all of the drive moves. Some are only utilizing the one or two they like the most. Like, tons of people are using the drive impact because essentially it's scrub mode version of the old focus attacks you used to use in Street Fighter 4. Uh, I hate to say it, it really does feel like a mechanic for online scrub players. And it sucks because they use it a lot. And if you're in a match that's not so re uh, responsive, you'll get caught with that thing a lot. I think eventually you'll get used to it and be able to counter it. But right now it feels like kind of the day one crutch move. Oh, I'm in the middle of a match, I'll just throw this out out of nowhere as a Hail Mary. Uh, you know, and it hits and I do insane damage. And if it doesn't hit, oh, it's fine, I'm safe anyway. Which is dumb. I don't think it should be safe, but they are. Like, they're pretty safe. Um, I'm not pretty sure you can't really do much about them. So, regardless, um, there's something that I like and don't like about the gameplay of it. Um, as I played more today, I realized a few things. Number one, uh, Jamie seems to be really overpowered. He's got a normal kick. I think it's a low-medium kick. That seems to be the best move in the game of the eight characters in the game. Like, it stuffs everything. From mid-range, it's insanely fast. It zoop, comes out right away, hits, and when it hits, he can combo right after it for big damage. And it seems to stop anything from mid-range. So if anyone's just standing mid-range and he throws that out, he controls the entire game. And I haven't seen anything beat it yet. Um, I'm absolutely sure if you guess, you can, like, reversal DP it with, you know what I mean? The problem is, it's so fast, you literally have to guess. You can't see it coming out and react to it. It's just, it's there and hits you. Or you block it, or you guessed through it. It's not like, oh, I reacted to it because I saw it. And that's a problem. He shouldn't have a 100% safe normal he can throw out there that's really overpowered. He does. So, I don't know if that's going to be something they fix. Or if it remains in the final build. But that is pretty broken in my opinion. Um, and then, 
But like I said, right now the problem I'm having online is the drive impact shit. Like people are just throwing it out there willy-nilly, and it seems like it's just not again risk reward. It should be risk reward. You throw it out there, there's a great risk. If it hits, you get a giant reward. And instead, it's I do it. Oh, it's completely safe. I can get out of it. You know, unless you're doing it, someone jumps over it. That's different. But if you're just like right next to the person, it seems like it's kind of like safe as a fucking move. And I don't know if I like that. I think maybe there should be ways around it. I have managed to stuff them with throws, which is good, um, but not always. And maybe the limitation of the cast as well. Maybe like a grappler just doesn't care and will go right through it anyway. I don't know. But it just, definitely, it feels to me like it reminds me of playing Tekken 7 and everyone just spams the super. It reminds you of Street Fighter 4 and everyone just spams focus attack. And you can't really do anything about it and it's, it's fucking annoying because you just want to play a fighting game, not a game where it's dodge the overpowered move and then get back to the fighting game. It kind of feels like that right now. But this is me being a noob. You know, I don't know that much about the high-level uh, meta, meta, uh, meta of the game yet. Because I've only played it for one day. I didn't study videos like everybody else. Speaking of which, I played with Ryu and Chun-Li. By the end of the day, I kind of learned their moves, but not really their combos. And that's, that's a problem. When you don't have potential for high combos when you're punishing someone, you kind of suck. And it's true. I, I kind of sucked today. I'll admit it. I had, I had a crazy win streak with Chun-Li, like 16 wins, where I wasn't even using combos to win. I was just using fundamentals. And then I finally started losing when the connections were getting progressively worse. 90 milliseconds, 120 milliseconds. Now, how am I supposed to win when everything is in slow-mo and everyone's spamming the drive impact through everything? So, I like the game. I want to play it more for sure. Only after, after one day, it feels like the entire day blew by in a whirlwind. It doesn't feel like... I just played Street Fighter 6 in a whole day and we're at the end of the day. It doesn't feel like that at all. It feels the opposite, okay? One other thing. You got to understand, because a lot of people did not understand today, even though I tried to explain to them up front, they're not listening. This is a very highly intention-demanding competitive fighting game. It's very stressful for me. I've not really tried to play Street Fighter at a competitive level in a long time of any kind of a modern one. Um, I'm trying to absorb as much as I possibly humanly can this weekend because this is going to help me moving forward to get better at the game. Um, and to put out entertaining content for you. But there are some people who sadly are coming to the stream and spamming. Why is Phil not responding? Look, I tagged him. Why is he not blowing bubbles when we hit 100 likes right away and doing this and that? And it's like, wait a minute, come on. There's someone who's like, oh, you ignored my super chat. I'm like, dude, I'm playing a set. I'm playing a set. And you, I always say this before I start playing competitive fighting games. I'm going to be stuck paying attention to it. I promise you I will get to all shoutouts reward. After I'm done with this appropriate set. And they didn't want to listen. People were really being obnoxious today about it. And that pissed me off. Especially on the last stream. There was one dickhead. Bubbles. Bubbles. I want bubbles. Bubbles. And every time I look back at the chat. Because I'm having a lot of frustration. I turn back to the chat to see if someone helping or commenting. Bubbles. 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 And I'm like. I lost. I yelled at the guy. I think I banned him. Because he's just a dick. You know. He's in there to get attention. And not actually paying attention to the stream. He's just there to fucking try to derail everything. So, please understand that, that for the rest of the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, yeah, when I'm playing the game, I do have to be focused on it. Or I just won't learn anything, in which case there's really no point in playing, you understand? So, Ryu and Chun-Li, I like the characters. I do feel like Chun-Li is more versatile than Ryu. While Ryu has high damage, he seems a lot more limited. Chun-Li seems more versatile with, you know, the different things she can do, anti-airs and the like. Um, and probably has better combos too, but I couldn't figure them out. Um, tomorrow... I'll be playing two different characters, one on the first stream, one on the second stream. First stream will be a character from a previous game, so either Jury or Guile will be the character that I play on the first stream, okay? Then on the late stream, it's going to be one of the newcomers, either Jamie or Kimberly, all right? And then same thing for Sunday, <clears throat> whoever I didn't play on Saturday, I'll play Sunday, and then Sunday night, the other new character I didn't play. That's the, that's the plan for now, okay, guys? All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage overnight. Thank you. Uh, everyone was very supportive on the streams today, by the way. Zero complaints about that. I mean, you didn't think there, there would be, right? There was no no issue today. Everyone was very, very, very over-the-top supportive, and I really appreciate that. Um, thanks for letting me hit tips goals and everything. It's going to help with bills this weekend, which I really need help with, so thank you for that. Um, and tomorrow we do it all again, all right? Thank you all. Have a good night. See you in the morning, and it'll be very interesting to see how this camera looks for the podcast, as we now know how it looks for the <laughs> for the daily wrap. How will it look with the natural light outside for the podcast? Will it look much better with white balance? I guess we're going to find out, okay? Thank you all. See you in the morning. Peace out.